intuitions versus copycat intuitions which are the Seba CJ Wells Moore Prime Liners all right so this is a tough one very tough one because I've been wanting to compare these two for a very long time and it's a tough cookie let's go to the seven liners these come with inner soles which are quite decent yeah, this is my doing. I normally like to save up some room in the front, so I shave off just a little bit of the thickness of the insole. These are very decent, thin inner soles, but it has these. Choke up super pads, Velcro onto your heel. All right, so let's start with the obvious. Most obvious difference is the price of these two items. I have a bunch of intuitions. I got the premiums. I got two types of um, the FR Deluxe intuitions. I got the V1, and this is the V2. Simple liners. Price difference between these two are threefold. I bought these for 60 euros. The new and one new intuition liner costs around 200 to 220 euros, depending on which one you're going for either the Skate V2 or the intuition premium, which is right here <coughs> in my hands. <coughs> I'm losing my voice again. Oh, fantastic. All right, so these F intuitions are not available, at least not currently, not available separately. You can only get them with the skates. But there are a lot of people who buy the skate, take up liner, and sell the shell separately. You could buy these separately. And I really don't know where to start because there is not a lot. These two are very, very similar, and I would say the most similar the seven liners are the most similar to the F4 Intuition V ones. All right, so look at it as um, this one is a bit in a bit bad cosmetic shape, but it functionally it functions perfectly. Doesn't have tears, it's not worn out on the inside. Oops, we got some stuff in here as usual. I'm gonna show you the J bars. You can see how hollowed in. This one has been worn in quite well. Before I move on, I want to compare the V1 FR Deluxe with the V2. Biggest difference that you could tell immediately that these ones are way more supportive. This one has been covered because it's quite dirty and it has a lot of glue on it. But this one is way more stiffer. This one is much, it feels much softer, mostly here, you could tell, I think it's somewhat of the, it's the same cut, but there's so much more stiffness here, so this is a much more stable, stable, and it feels a bit harder, this one generally feels a bit softer everywhere, and it's less um, supportive in this area, above your cut. But you get also you also get a lot more 
backward flex because this part is a bit more squishier, softer than the wee one, which is absolutely stiff. It has stitching here. I don't think. Yeah, this one doesn't has it. The wee wee two doesn't have stitching around the upper edge. All right, so I would say these two are the most similar. If you tell me that <clears throat> the price difference is threefold, I would not believe you. The phone and the Sebas are very high quality. I could hardly tell the difference between the responsiveness, the springiness of the phone. The only minor thing that I could notice is the J bars. It's probably not as pronounced. It's a bit the J bars, the protruding parts around your anchor are not as pronounced as on the intuitions. And also, this is a much more high top. Doesn't have a deep U or V cut. It's a U cut. So it feels, this one feels even a bit more supportive and you don't get a lot of backward flex with the Sebas. I skated both of these and if you have intuitions then you probably don't need this. But if you want to get the taste of it and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money because let's say you can find this thing, these ones used. Sometimes they go very cheap. Probably the worst cosmetic condition they are in. The cheaper you could get them. Like this one, I got these ones for very cheap. So, and I'm really happy with them. So, if you want to get into an Intuition Light Liner, you probably should start here. Because I think you get a lot out of this liner. I will find it. I just put these on side by side, trying to feel out the differences. The toe box area, the material is quite thick, thicker than the FRs. It's about as thick <clears throat> and as dense as the dem intuitions. So in that regard, it's similar to those. I would say there is a slight difference in the feel of the foam. I really feel like the intuitions make me feel more separated from the shell. So the edges of the cuff feel much less sensible with the intuitions, with the sebas. Oh, I could kind of feel the to the edges of my cuff a bit, a little bit more. And there is also one slight difference is this difference which is the tongue it has a thinner I would say just a little bit softer tongue than just a whatever intuition liner. So I think these liners would be much better with a bit more thicker, a bit more stiffer tongue. Sometimes when I lean forward, I could feel the cuff, I mean the buckle straps, the straps pressing my foot just a little bit. It's not painful, but it's more noticeable with the saddle liners than with the intuitions. So yeah, um, these are the differences that I found. They are generally somewhat similar if you go and want to get into intuitions. Start here. If you don't really need any convincing and the 
high performance, high comfort is something that is a right priority for you, then definitely find some FR intuitions which are the FRs and the DAM intuitions are more toward the comfort and the skate V2 and the premium is more the, toward the performance feel. Also, I want to mention the wizard intuitions, which are also, I think, probably that's the most high performance one, finished, finished foam padding, but most responsiveness. Yeah, these are awesome, both of them. If weight matters to you, I measured both of these, and the sepals are lighter. Not by a significant amount, but when I first weighed the intuitions, they were quite light. And when I got these, I just got these recently, and I was shocked to see that these are even lighter than the lightest intuitions. And I measured both of them without any any insoles or shock absorbers or any add-ons. So yeah, probably that is one more difference that I could come up with. Generally, they are, it's hard to tell the difference between the two. Probably the tongue and the J-bars are the most significant that you could feel. And maybe, maybe the saddles are just a bit softer. It keeps you less separated from the hard edges of your shell. And that's it.